the macho man, Randy Savage. He was loud. The cream of the crop! He was colorful. He was intense. Oh, yeah! Miss Elizabeth was not. Elizabeth was an icon and a role model for so many women. Her character was something that brought a lot of feeling and emotion to the match. Randy Macho Man Savage and Miss Elizabeth were wrestling royalty, and their roller coaster romance captivated audiences around the world. It's Bonnie and Clyde, it's Romeo and Juliet. They were the first you know, male female package that was created in that new WWF model. They were the first and they were the best dysfunctional as it may have been in some respects but I saw it it's a love story as far as the persona of the macho man and the package of the macho man and Miss Elizabeth was they were two opposites and Randy so intense and Elizabeth so subdued they wanted you to love Elizabeth and hate Randy. Randy would have bring her out. She'd stand at ringside. He'd get in the ring. He'd circle around. Then he'd get out. No, I told you to stand here. And people were hating Randy just for browbeating the beautiful young girl. Like, you you could do better than him, honey. Get away from him. And there would be times that Randy would give Liz a look and just turn his head and give her those eyes. And she would almost be subservient. I mean, did it? They just, oh, you sorry son of a, you know, and that's exactly what they wanted. Well, a lot of people wondered, did Randy really control her in and out of the ring? Absolutely. Randy, very protective of my God. You have no idea. I and mean, he would um, get visibly upset with anybody that tried to talk to her or carry on a conversation with her. I mean, he just did not like it. When they would be getting ready for a, an event, we didn't want any malfunctions with the wardrobe, so he would literally take the tape and like wrap it all around her whole body. And then the other big thing was because she was always in a short dress was getting into the ring and entering the ring over the rope. And was she gonna go over the second rope? Should she go under it? This was all a big, huge thing for Randy because this was his wife. He loved and respected her. And he didn't want anybody to be making fun of her. He was definitely in charge of that relationship and she was just the, the tag alongs. And I think that that started to grow on her. I think that started to just unnerve her. That may have been where a lot of the issues started. When you take real life situations and you put it in front of the camera, it's great because it's usually very relatable. When you take your real life feelings and you put them on camera and you make it a part of a storyline, because they don't know you. They don't know what you guys do when the doors shut at night. They have no clue. But they know you're really married and they know what you said on TV, you sorry son of a bitch. Life imitating art, and sometimes art imitates life. And then you get really fucked up.